Welcome to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. Let's pretend for a moment that you have been interviewing for your job for a long time, which is kind of typical for us when we're over 50. It takes us longer to find a position, but you've been interviewing for a while and you've been interviewing with the same company and you're sitting across, across a desk from the hiring manager and the hiring manager looks at you and says, we're going to offer you the position, and um, this is what the starting pay is. And then you're looking at that person, and you're calm, but inside your head it's exploding, and you're maybe even thinking, hallelujah, I finally got a job. I've been wanting this job for a long time. So what you do is you reach your hand out as fast as you can and you say, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to joining your team. And the hiring manager, they're shaking your hand and you're shaking their hand and inside you're probably shaking as well, but you're happy as hell that you have been offered a position. Well, I'm going to tell you why you may, you may have just made one of the biggest mistakes of your career. Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. And as I said before the break in this video, what I want to do is tell you why if you finally get that job offer, that job offer that you've been waiting for for a very long time, why if you say yes immediately, if you just hold out your hand and you say yes and you accept that salary that they're offering you, I'm going to tell you why you may have made, you may have made one of the biggest mistakes of your career. I'm going to tell you why. But before I do, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Career Fitter. If you follow my channel, then you know I'm a big advocate. I believe in career aptitude test and Career Fitter, why they make one of the better career aptitude tests, certainly one of the best career aptitude tests that I've reviewed over the last four years or so. There is a free version to their career aptitude test in the description box. If you take it, it will help you, help you to determine a job that better fits your skills, your personality, and your interests. Now, there is a paid version, which goes a lot deeper into the career, career options. Take the paid version, take the free version, either one. They're both good tools that can help you to find that job that better fits you. How many of you out there have been a hungry man in a grocery store or a hungry woman in a grocery store? And I think you know what I mean. If you've ever gone shopping for groceries and you've gone shopping when you're hungry and your stomach's grumbling, maybe growling, and you are just buying everything you can see, everything on the shelf, whether you need it or not, whether you really like it or not, you're going ahead and you're just going to grab it and buy it and that's it you go to the checkout counter and you spend money you know you shouldn't have spent but you don't care because you were hungry you need it you justified it that way well there was a study done and i used this grocery store analogy to this study because the study was done by pew which says that most most americans most u.s workers when they're offered a position when they're offered a new position, they don't ask for uh, more money than was offered to them. They accept it. They're the hungry man in the grocery store. We're over 50 years old. We need a job. We take a job. And we don't really, quite honestly, some of us don't give a damn what kind of job it is. We just need that job. We need that money. We want that paycheck. Well, Pew came up with a study. And as I mentioned, just actually just a few months ago, a couple months ago, they published it. And I happened to read that study, and it really made me understand when it gave me the data and showed the data that when you are accepting that job that from that hiring manager, you know, yeah, you, we know you've been looking for a long time looking for a job. But when you accept it right away, what you're doing is you are probably, probably going to make less money than you would have made if you would have just did a counter, a, a soft counter, I call these soft counters. But here's the, here's the data. It says this, 28% of people who are being interviewed, 28% of them who ask for more money, they're given more money. They're given that higher pay. 28%, think about that for a second. 38% say they weren't given what they asked for, but you know what? They were given more money. They were offered more money. 
Now, 35% say that, you know what, I asked for more, but they stuck to that number. But 35%. So basically what you're hearing is two out of three folks, two out of three who ask for more, get more. And you get more because they want you. You get more because they need you. It's a two-way street. It's not just that you need a job, so yeah, I'm going to take whatever they give me. I'm that hungry man in a grocery store. That I'm that hungry woman in a grocery store. I'm going to take what they give me. Keep in mind, it's a reciprocal agreement here. They want you. You want them. So all you need is an agreement about how much you will be paid. Asking for more is not difficult. It's not as difficult as maybe you might be thinking. And I know some of you out there may be saying, well, Lou, it might not be hard for you, but you know what? I'm just not comfortable asking for more. Well, let me give you an example of a, of a, a guy, a person that I hired years ago. And he came to me, he was fired from his previous job. I, I happened to know him, but he came to me and he said, Lou, I need a position, I need a job. And he says, my wife's pregnant and I've got to work. If she finds out I'm fired from this, from, from five, five, she finds out I'm fired, I'm, I'm dead, basically, he's telling me. I felt sorry for him. I thought, well, you know what, I'll hire you. But you know, I told him, I said, I don't know what position I could put you in. I don't need a graphic designer, which was his skill set. I said, but I do need, I could use a salesperson, but at the same time I'm saying that as those words come out of my mouth, I'm thinking this guy has no communication skills whatsoever. But I thought, you know what, let me just present it to him. And I did. I asked him, I said, hey, this is the position I have for you. And if you want it, it's yours. And he immediately jumped at, jumped at it. No communication skills, whatever, but what he did have, he did have a determination. He did have the ability to ask for what he wanted. And you know what? He made sales. He was never a great salesperson, but at least he made sales and he paid for himself. And to me, it was worth hiring him because I had a guy who was in the middle. He wasn't that top 20%. He certainly wasn't in the lower 20 or 30%, but he was in the middle and he paid for himself. But you know what? He was just able to ask for what he wanted. And that's all it takes is ask for what you want, ask for what you need. And more often than not, as this Pew Center study shows, you will, you will get what you want. Well, that's all I got for you today, my friends. I, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, feel free. Make the comment, put a comment in the comment section. You've got a question, you can send me an email, put the question in the comment box. I do get back to people as fast as possible, so I will get back to you if you do present me with a question or a comment. Now, I do want to mention one more thing or remind you, rather, that I do have a career fitter, career aptitude test, a link to the free one in the description box. Check it out. If you want the paid version, that's up to you. I think the free version will give you just about everything that you need. But there are people who want to dive deeper. And if you dive deeper, you do have to pay a small fee. It's what I call a small investment for a potentially big future. Well, as I said, that's all I've got for you for today. And as I always say, have a great day, everybody. Yeah.